Yo, what's up everybody, Wilkyway. Today I'll be bringing you a PvE video. I'm on my new class, or I'm a new character, playing the new class Demonisher slash Soulist, whichever name you prefer. And I thought, I, I actually already made a video where I'm just like running through the map. But I thought, why the hell not put commentary onto it for like people who actually don't know all the tricks from showing or from viewing the video. I'll give some more in-depth explanation about the first stealth quest, which is in, in Pit of Pain. Like the first, before you actually start the quest. Um, there's there's one advice I can already give you. Um, take off as many uh, of your items as possible. As you can see, my inventory is full. I could actually drop out some stuff, but like, put off your items. You don't need them. You're not going to use any of your combat skills until you reach the boss. So before you're there, simply put off as many items as possible because the chances that you're messing up and you will die a hundred percent and in that case your armor and weapons will break which will cost you quite a bit of money if you're new to the game so if you're viewing this and if you, if you have trouble with this quest finishing it on, on, on the first attempt um, put off your weapons, put off your armor at least regarding or depending on how big your inventory is just put off as many items as possible this is the first advice I can give you um, about this quest, it's like, um, stealth quest is probably the wrong description, but as you can see, these green glowing things are mines, but as you can see, don't be afraid of them, you can simply walk past these. You don't have to do any jumping or something, simply walk past these mines. Keep an eye out of them, there are some more or less hidden. If, if you haven't done this map before, you might want to move a bit slower and, and look at the ground, because there are some... Um, mines that are actually hard to spot. This is our first enemy. You don't want to attack them with any skill or anything. Don't attack. Whatever you do, don't use your normal attack. Don't use skills. Walk up behind them and you can see this yellowish dagger knife thingy and once this sign appears, simply press left click. And you'll execute those without giving a sound or without noticing. This is the way you'll be able, you'll be disposing enemies in this quest. As you can see, there are mines again, and this is the first distraction part. You've been given a chest with Vivix summoning potions. If you open this chest, you'll get ten of these potions. And what you want to do at this point is use one of these. You can actually drag them into skill, the skill slot and just use it by pressing the according to skill and as you can see the Vivek will distract the enemy and the same as the first enemy walk behind them don't attack until you see this dagger and simply left click to execute them and this is there's not much of a dangerous part here there are mines down here again you can see simply walk past them they have a fairly low radius of detection same deal here, walk behind them, don't step into these blue cones. If you step into these visions, into these cones of vision, um, you'll get spotted and you'll die. So whatever you do, don't step into these side radius of them. Simply walk behind them, as you can see the dagger is there. Left click and dang, execute it. So, this is actually the first part. I recommend waiting. You, firstly, you see a red circle. And use your third person perspective to kind of like lurk along the... As you can see, he changed and his cone passed us. So as you don't want to like watch out for the mines there, don't step into these red circles and simply execute this dude. Same deal here. Then follow these yellow pointers. You can see, you can see on the minimap. And there's the next enemy. If you don't jump into any of these obstacles because they are NPCs, they can simply walk through them. Same deal here, walk up, yellow dagger, left click, execute. So once you've reached this stage, you, you actually like manage half of it. Simply accept its quest. Damn it, my inventory is full. Ah, screw it, just equip one part, I guess. 
Um, doing this quest will give you another chest. Damn it, I uh, I'll just screwed. Opening this chest will give you Jillian's Elixir. This will be used twice in this map, and once you advance further on, you'll I'll actually explain when and how to use this potion. You'll simply walk back there. You killed the guy before here, so you don't have to worry. They don't respawn, there's nothing here anymore. So simply walk up. Watch out for these mines. You get these ladder thingies, as you can see on the right, which basically tells you that thing, don't step into the mines. Now, this part can be dangerous. Like, as you can see, this guy up here spawns, or like, this red circle represents his field or, or his his like field of vision where he's looking actually and um, so you don't want to step into these circles because he will then spot you and you have to do the quest all over again and as you can see there's a fixed pattern in which this circle is moving and you don't want to be in there so as you can see this goes and then it disappears because whenever I step out of here this enemy leaves my field of view and, and I, I don't see him anymore so I don't see his red circle so it, it's not a bug actually a lot of people think that this is a bug just make sure you're this this can actually if, if you're here nothing will happen as you can see this circle wanders and what you will want to do is follow up here and simply use your Jillian's Alex here and you will turn into a sign shield thingy of a Dagon once the circle pass, simply walk out of it and you successfully bypass this guard. For this guy, we already used this Vivic summoning potion one. Simply do this again, wait for it to walk up, then you'll see his cone and you simply walk past it. You can kill him, you don't have to. I would recommend killing it, it's not gonna hurt you. So, and you know, I would like recommend for waiting until he's turning around. That was the Vivek that blew up. And just hide here. You can you can perfectly look around corners and edges with your third person camera view. You can actually skip this dude, you don't have to kill him. Neither do you have to kill this guy. Just pull the lever. As you can see, once you pull... This is some sort of glitch, don't be afraid if this happens. I mean, I'm clearly in here and nothing is happening. So once you've once you've reached this stage, the quest is actually over. You don't have to fear any any sort of detection anymore. This is just some some storytelling, and he's just telling you that you're you're uh, an airhead and he's a way better fighter. I mean, you know, he's not. That's not true. We're, we are the better fighters, but whatever. It's a scripted quest, so we're just going to go ahead to Osric. Accept the quest. In case you wasted all your elixirs for some weird reason, you only need one. Um, he'll give you five again. Before actually doing this quest, put on all your armor and gear. And simply step into this, use another elixir. And this is pretty much it. This is the whole deal of the quest. As you can see, there's a cutscene. Um, if you if you if you remember, this is the scout or this is the NPC you've seen in the regular Pit of Pain hard mission, and he's just like here. You can actually skip this, but I, for the sake of it, I'll just leave it on here. For those interested, just watch it. For those, don't just skip the part. Yeah, so this was the story part, and all you have to do is walk out of the disguise and just 
kill this boss. It's not really difficult actually to kill this boss. Let's just use our transformation and blast him with left leg or something. Damn it. I cannot jump. Jeez. Not able to get out of here, am I? I just kind of go away. Come on. Go away. I wanna get out of here. Maybe I can jump out. No, I can't. There we go. There we go. This is like, like I said, this is the whole quest. The actually difficult part is the part where you have to like sneak around and something. Then just dodge my stuff. And there we go. This is. Oh, come on, dude. Stop evading. Just die. Thank you. Yeah, this, this was it for this quest. Um, hope you guys enjoyed the video and if people if you find people having trouble or something I hope this actually helps you to finish this quest especially for first timers and Yeah, I hope I can catch you guys next time for a further update I will probably upload a couple PvE videos of my soul list to kind of like show you the skills maybe give some sort of advice or recommendation about the class I'm still trying kind of I don't know if I like the class. It's a cool class, no doubt. And it's a very unique one as well. So I will probably give it a shot and level it up a bit further. Mainly because I want to see the Ultimate Furious skull. But that's for later on. Hope you guys enjoyed the video and as always stay tuned for the next one.